All right, next episode, episode seven. Wait, is this part? Oh, I don't know why it's this part two, season two, whatever. Who is this dude? Shido? It is. Is it? Yo! If doing this means no one will cry, then was that like him, like at the winning the Holy Grail and wishing for something, or like? But it had like it's going in his body. So is this like when he sacrifices afterlife to become Archer? Man, this is crazy. I don't know. This is, and then how they? Oh man, everything just connects so well. How they say it was a mage, and you know, wow, that blew my that blew my mind, bro. What? I can't believe I didn't even talk about the Saber becoming Reen's servant, you know? That was crazy. Because I, 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 how did I not connect that? You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, let's see. Idealism's end. The answer. The answer. So someone's. Shido. He's got the Adidas, two stripes. <laughs> oh, they all showed up though. Squad. Gang. Mmm. Oh, it was originally his? Wow, I didn't put that together. I feel like an idiot now. Wow. The catalyst was a pending. Oh, wow, that's a trip. Already? Oh. Mmm. Keep her alive. Mmm. So who is this master? I wonder who his... Wait, is that Shinji? There's no way Lancer is Shinji. No, you know it's not. What the fuck? They already told us who Lancer is. I'm just really fucking high. Mmm. Have it your way, like Burger King. I'm out. Hmm. Mm. He doesn't want to become? Hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's what people were getting at. He's a defender. Wow. 
Oh, shit. What are you, what's the, the point of that? In the shitty one, bro. What the fuck? Mmm. Shut your bitch ass up, man. You're the... Bro, I hate Shinji. Oh, man. Oh, dude, I feel so weird right now. I don't want to be watching this. Yeah, who the... F oh... Pussy. Ah! Bruh. That wasn't enough, man. He should have beat his ass, like, for real. Oh, Kiritsuku? Oh, 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 my God. No, I got to pause. I got to pause. I have to pause. I feel like a fucking idiot. Why am I so fucking dumb? If I'm the one that I've been saying for like 10, not even 10, for like 4 episodes that Kide must still be alive somewhere, we didn't see his motherfucking body. I said that shit! Why? How? Oh man, oh, there's times like this I really want to punch myself in the face so hard. Holy! How did I not... Of course Kide's still alive. Lancer is Kide's that's why he's protecting the ring. Oh, I gotta go back a little bit. I'm sorry, this is gonna be like a couple of days for me to edit this, because I usually don't pause and do all this, but... There's... Uh, my mind is like... Whoa, I can't handle all this shit right now, bro. What? I thought it was gonna be Gilgamesh, bro. Why is Kida here? Mm, see, so he's not really up for saving. Maybe he knows. Mm. Justice of true justice, see? Hmm. Wow, that's not justice. Wow. 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 I mean, how is she going to argue with that? You can't. Mm. Oh. He was going to tell her, her his true name. I mean, her true name. She's... Wow, she's going to tell him. Oh, and we're going to get the reveal of this decision. I mean, we have already heard it, but... Oh my gosh. Oh, what? Really? Of picking up Excalibur from the... I mean, that was a... Not a stone. Or that. From ever being... Wow, that's deep. Look at that shot. Wow. 
So she wanted to still live. Oh, never be the king. Hmm. Mmm, see, that's what she sees the difference. This is so interesting. Mmm. Wow, he wasn't satisfied with the result. Wow. Good or bad. Oh, man. Mm, and he didn't feel nothing. He just did it because that was what he had to do. Wow. And he is a badass, bro. He is. Mm. Bro, look at that. Sitting next to the tree. Wow. Mm. <sighs> but aren't most, right? Mm. It's impossible, just like Kiritsugu. Oh man, this is so deep. I love it. Mm. Wow. Wow. Mm. Isn't that harsh? Mmm. Wow, even himself. Wow, I knew he was going to say that. And he's looking like kind of convinced too. Wow. Ooh. Mmm. He's using them, obviously. Mmm. He is part of the Mato family. Woohoo! I mean, she is talented. Yeah, cause she killed her dad. Yeah, you evil fuck. He's gonna tell her. Woo! Yeah, he's a little cheat. If you're a piece of shit. Mmm. Oh. With his, when she summoned her, or from, oh, he's gonna, or before, oh, 
No, he's not gonna. And that dagger I gave you. I don't fucking shift your dad down, bro. Like a motherfucking sushi. I fucking diced him up. Oh, I love that shot. Even though he's a piece of shit. He's probably going to fight back. It's exactly what he would do, kind of, in a way. It's such a fucking weird place to be in. Mm. He doesn't think he did anything wrong. But... What? Wow. <laughs> it's like a little f Damn, his voice is deep Oh, cause he Wow, so he needs her for the... Damn. The plotting. Mm. Damn. Little by little. Mm. So she's gonna stop it now. That might end. No, you're fucked, bro. Like a paradox or something. I, I agree. Yeah, bro, you're already from the future. You haven't even existed yet. You're already here. Exactly. That's what I would. I would. I. I agree. Nah, man, you're desperate now, bro. How? Oh, by changing his ideas. He's gonna fight your ass and change you. Nah, he's not gonna kill himself. Mm. 
Now, Lancer don't play that shit. I don't think so. That's right. Mmm. Ooh. Ball shit right there. Ooh, that was ballsy. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot my guy sleeved up. Wow. Oh man, not again. Oh, that's fucked. Is that for the grail? I mean, you just heard him talk about him for like three minutes. Mmm. That's right. Mmm. Mm. No, I think it means that you just convinced him to not. He's already aware of what could happen, so it might not even happen at all. Oh, man. It's going to end right there. It's going to end right there. Fuck. But the music. Oh, my gosh. And it's going to end right there. Why are they blueballing me? I know it's going to happen. Wow. I knew it. Oh, I got chills right when that happened. Oh my gosh. No, man. I don't think you understand. This shit is fire. Okay, yeah, there's no after scene. See how it says next episode? That's how I know there ain't no after scene. That was crazy. I was not ready for that, actually. That, I, even though there was not a lot of action, people might not even watch the, my reaction to this episode, actually, you know? But that was actually one of my favorite episodes in terms of everything. Like, even when they were talking, like, when Archer's talking and the music is really playing in the background, that soundtrack, I don't know what it was. I really wanted to comment on it. I might do, like, little notes, you know? Like I usually do under the video. But, uh, even compa the comparisons to, like, just the arguments in general, you know, the point of views. It, like, it, each character is so solid in their point of views and their arguments are very, like, they're very backed up. And, you know, you know what I'm saying? That it's just, you could, you could understand where they're both coming from in a way, right? You know, you see why Saber, even though Saber was unsatisfied with her... With her ending and blah blah blah, she she feels like that because she feels like her her ending, she never realized her ideals, uh, truthfully. So her heroic spirit, in a way, was, now, I mean, fighting for the past, you know, stuff like that, you know, where like you know, Saber was like fighting for like the past and all that, or like her regrets that she had in her life, which now made her heroic spirit, you know, want wanting to change the past or fulfill her ideals that she never did. Whereas um, Archer feels, well, Emia, you know, servant Emia, but yeah, Archer feels like his ideals were fulfilled and he ended up with this, his end result was flawed in a way, you know what I'm saying? He feels like his end result, um, there's loopholes, you know, you can't, it's not perfect. You can't have his ideals, it's unrealistic in a way, you know, there's no way it could be like. Which feels so weird because if, like, in comparisons, like, you could see, like, there's a theme. Nah, I feel like a weirdo talking about that, you know? Because I'm not, like, a smart guy or I don't feel like I understand everything. But it feels like there's an overall theme about when you have certain ideals, there's always, like, a gray area where it's 
where do you cross the line? Where, what does it actually mean? What is acceptable? Like, and what is the actual, like, 100% um, meaning of, of something that could happen or, like, uh, the, the extreme of something, you know? Like, whereas being a hero of justice to the extreme means that you're on the side of just balance, justice on both sides. You know, he's balancing out. He was killing good, killing bad, you know, just killing. Just for the sake of keeping everything just, you know? Which, which he felt in the end was, like, very flawed. There's just so many ideals that... It's just episodes like that that you could just watch back and just a conversation and re be really into it. And I don't think I talk, talked much, you know, because I didn't want to interrupt what he was saying. But I was, like, trying to think about everything that they've said through this. Oh, man, it's just amazing. And the music. And then Shinji there with Kirei showing up. With Obviously, I don't know. How did I not call Kirei? We hadn't seen him yet. I don't know how many episodes are left, but it seems like this is almost over. Because everything is just coming together at once. Which threw me off guard because I wasn't expecting Kire to be back, Saber to become, you know, Rin's servant, like, uh, Archer's identity to be revealed, basically, and like, oh my gosh, final fight, and and I wonder what that's going to mean, too. Like, I wonder if um, this encounter with his ideal will somehow shape Archer for the better after this Holy Grail is over. I don't know, man. It's so weird because how they say the time concept doesn't really... Uh, apply to heroic spirits so how could anything change archer in any form or any way you know maybe archer is just like archer and i don't know man it's such a trip and kire killed lancer he's got his leaves he's got hella but he all the servants have to die technically right for the holy grail to be summoned so that's probably why he just killed lancer right off the bat you know didn't even make him kill Ring and he's probably gonna use Ring for. He said he's gonna use her as a vessel. So what happened to Ilya? They just took her heart. I don't know, man. But it feels like they need someone from each family because someone from each family is there. You know, the Mato family is there. Um, Ilya's heart, maybe Gilgamesh has it in his pocket or something. You know, <laughs> like it feels like there's a part of some. I don't know. There's a lot going on, man. That was a mind trip. Hopefully, I edit these well enough that you can kind of understand where most of my thoughts are in each scene because I, I really didn't speak a lot it was so mind-blowing and actually kind of really very sad and there was a point where i was actually kind of almost here at maybe last episode or this episode i forgot which, where it was but it was very sad the way he was explaining that it almost reminded me of kiritsugu a lot too you know like the parallels between fate zero and stuff and kiritsugu's ideal like he's an emia too right K emia you know kiritsugu so, like, his ideals are almost the same, too, within Archer, but at the same time, you could see how he has the same struggles where Kiritsugu was out just doing things for the greater good, you know what I'm saying? Like, he felt the same way after a while. He's like, wow, I've just been killing people regardless, and you can never really save who you want, and you, little by little, you ended up chipping at the people you wanted to save, and you know what I'm saying? It gets so complicated. Wow, I enjoy that a lot. Let me know what you guys thought when you guys first watched this episode. Were you guys just feeding for some action? Were you guys really into this conversation? Or you guys were like, all right, we get it. Or I don't know. Let me know. I was really into it. So, but yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry for taking so long. Let's get it. Let's finish this up, you know.